Hello, my name is Matthew, and I read another Cervantes short story. I read The Glass Graduate. Uh, it's part of, it's one of the tales in the exemplary stories, and I loved it. I, I just thought it was fantastic. It had so many uh, unexpected twists and turns and real surprises. Th this is the kind of story that I, I could not have predicted where it was going. Uh, but it begins with a very young man named Tomas who wants to go to Salamanca, a university town in Spain, and he um, meets these two other travelers that help him along the way to get there, and they uh, take care of him. And Tomas studies and uh, is a very quick learner, um, and ge generally uh, curious and adventurous and uh, has a really good head on his shoulders. And he leaves Salamanca, he meets a soldier, and he goes traveling all throughout Europe. He goes to Italy and Paris and other countries, and we get this great series. It's a travel log where we just sort of go around Europe and Cervantes is describing um, the landscapes and cultures and um, rival rivalries and wars. And, um, I, I feel like it's a, it's a portion of the story that uh, would really keep rewarding the more you, the more I would or anybody um, would read footnotes and endnotes and um, really research the, the history. Um, because it's so um, detailed and specific on the route and, and adventures that Tomas goes on. But he finally makes his way back to Spain, and he's in this town, and a woman comes into town and meets Tomas and just falls in love. And they meet, and Tomas, uh, does not love her in return. And since this woman feels rebuked, she decides that she's going to get a love potion and um, make Tomas love her. And it is a great description because uh, Cervantes makes a point to say uh, the people that sell these love potions and people that administer love potions are poisoners. They're poisoning people because there's no such thing as a love potion. So Tomas drinks this love potion and becomes incredibly ill, uh, ne nearly dies. He's laid up for months, sickly, loses weight, can't move, um, re really uh, serious. And his health finally recovers, but not his mental state. He has gone mad. And at this point, there's some real surprising things that happen. Um, I am going to reveal them, but um, it, it's, it's interesting how madness is a common theme for Cervantes. Um, this story reminds me a lot of the adventures of Don Quixote, who reads his stories and tales, Knights of chivalry and romance, goes mad and decides to start um, adventuring around Spain, righting wrongs. Well, our poor Tomas um, had this love potion, love potion, was poisoned, nearly died, has gone mad, and he believes that he is now entirely made of glass and he's terrified that he's going to shatter in a real way he, he's he's having this delusional episode and he won't let anyone near him he's describing that he, he's now made of glass everyone of course knows that he's gone mad and with this new affliction he also becomes cynical and opinionated. He starts going around town 
and just uh, having these uh, aphorisms, these maxims, they're very uh, biting, sarcastic, um, ge generalizing quips that are supposed to be some uh, revelatory thought, this, this really profound thought. The theme that runs through them all is the, the, the cynicism. But he develops a following. People are intrigued with the things that he's saying. Um, in, in the same way that um, Jesus uh, had, where he de developed a following. And as he went along, people wanted to hear what he, what, what he had to say. And we just get these adventures of a man who believes that he's made of glass going around telling uh, worldly advice and people are listening to him. Um, and some really interesting um, cultural ideas, uh, just the fact that uh, for the most part, everyone in, all, in this entire story was completely understanding that this is a person that has gone mad and uh, isn't to be uh, mocked or scorned, uh, but instead is just accepted as a part of the community. Uh, some people were throwing rocks at him and trying to terrorize him, and not only did the other people in the community um, s stop that, they also teach the young boys that are doing it, they teach them a lesson and they um, turn their opinion around and, and understand that this is not a right thing to do. He, this person deserves to be um, respected as an in, individual just like anybody else even though he's gone mad and thinks he's made of glass and says all of these crazy things. And uh, so yeah, we just get this other traveling episode of him going around doing this, thinking he's made of glass, and then uh, it has a sort of um, one of those um, traditional things where, in some sort of romance, it has a really quick, snappy ending. Uh, a doctor comes along, has a remedy that he takes, and all of a sudden he no longer feels like he's made of glass. He goes back to the town. He feels sort of abashed everyone's sort still just fine with him and it kind of has a happy ending just a, a crazy thing happened to this person um and i just love that uh the, 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 the title is pretty literal uh this is someone that went to school and graduated and this is someone who thought that he was made of glass the title is the glass graduate it's great um uh, it's really entertaining um so uh, that's all I have to say about that. So leave a comment if you would like, and thank you for watching.